Today, I'm gonna to talk you through some of the misconceptions and why you can't aim your body and the golf club so that it can help you get away from the worry of what might be because of poor aim. Let's get into it. I often hear on the lesson tee, so often golfers battle with where they're aiming their feet. The reality is, if my feet were open, I could still have the opportunity to hit a golf shot with a little draw down the fairway. And even if I had my feet shut, I could still have that opportunity to hit in it way off to the right, or I could even hit myself a shot that draws to the target. So that belief of where the feet point shouldn't really play too big a hold on whether you can hit a good golf shot or not. But in the main though, why golfers tend to aim poorly is absolutely top of the pile because of the bend that they see in the sky. If the ball was to bend all the way down to the right, you would tend to want to fight the, the right shot. And so of course you would then start to aim down the left to counteract that ball bending to the right. You'd be an idiot to start aiming straight if you've got yourself some sort of ball bending out to the right and missing the target. But of course there is a belief, and I did a video on why dropping your feet back, shutting your stance to hit a draw is a bad idea. You might wanna go check that one out. So understanding that actually your foot alignment can neither help nor hinder your golf shot in its entirety, but it does play a role. And I was out on the golf course with Christos, a young lad of mine that I help with his golf, really uh, pushing on, playing off two at the moment, and he's, he's got a lovely big tournament coming up out in Spain, his first one abroad, which I'm really excited to, to go and travel out there and help him with. We were out on the golf course and he had a little bit of a setup where his alignment was a fraction to the left. Now he's a drawer of the golf ball. In his instance, he was aiming a little bit to the left and he was actually hitting some shots that started to have a little bit of a cut on them. And then all of a sudden, he lined a couple up where his alignment was down the left. And actually he aligned a couple up and he hit a few poles. And so in his particular circumstance, him opening up at address actually caused him to hit some fades because when you're a better golfer, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to anyone that plays the game, when you're a better golfer, what tends to happen is you really get a good sense of where you are stood in relation to the target and how unloading the golf club through strike, you get a sense of where that golf ball would go. So if I aim pretty straight to the target, and depending on what your inclination is through strike, if your inclination is to unload the golf club down through strike here, and you feel that, you know, and this can, this can come over you over a period of holes, maybe rounds of golf, where you all of a sudden feel like if you do unload it, it's gonna miss it to the left, you immediately start to feel like your golf swing is out of kilter. In a circumstance like that, that would be when you would immediately go to your foot alignment, your body alignment. So if you are a slightly better player and you do have a sensation of unloading the golf club through the ball, and you're used to having a fairly neutral ball flight, you might want to be that guy or girl to check your alignment. Do check where you're trying to point your feet. And when you do end up making a fairly standard swing, if you then start to get yourself back to somewhere near your target, you're more responsive to hitting shape because of your foot alignment. So that's the first set of golfers that if you're fairly neutral in your ball flight and then you start hitting a shape, you might want to go about checking your alignment, checking your aim. If you're the golfer that has got a perennial fade 
and you consistently aim down the left and you hit that ball that cuts back and what you think is the cause of your fade is your alignment down the left, you're wrong. Your alignment down the left is the very ingredient that is helping you hit the target. And in the same order, if you're someone that's got perennially a draw bias or a hook bias and you consistently aim down the right and you're trying to straighten that up, again, that's the wrong port of call. You don't want to fix your alignment to fix the bend you need to go down the route of, well, what is it that causes my face to path? And if you've watched enough of my content, the face to path value is the ingredient that tells you how much bend you're going to see in the sky. You need to go down the route of finding out what that ingredient in your game that makes your ball bend to the left, that needs fixing, so that when you do aim straight and you fix that face to path value, value, actually your face to path value goes back to being very neutral and you hit less bend so you can see the face to path value was only 1.6, it was 4.4 on the shot before. I fixed the face to path value which would then allow me to aim much straighter at the target. But understand this, if you take away bend in the sky, whether it's bending right or bending left, you become a golfer that has to aim or perceptually aim very, very straight and only play with a very small proportion of your target. Because if you hit it very, very straight, great, the ball takes off and tracks the white line. But if you play a golf shot that has any kind of bend either way and you're aiming dead straight, you could end up with a little fade or a little draw. So my advice would be that you need to play with at least some sort of positive or negative value between zero and three would be a good value. And at that, at that point, it allows you to aim up the right and have a little bit of a bend back on the target as a draw of the golf ball or if you're someone that's got a, a small fade, it allows you to aim down the left of the target and hit one and peel it back into your If you're tired of paying too much for your premium leather golf gloves, head over to gxgolfgloves.com. These are gloves trusted by tour players and elite amateurs alike. Use my code GOODCOACHING to receive 10% off your next order. Go try them out, you won't be disappointed target. So either way, understanding that your alignment can in some instances straighten up your ball flight, but in most instances your aim is in spite of your shot. It's because of the bend that you see in the sky is why you aim to the left or to the right. If you have an excessive aim, left or right, fix the bend first, don't fix the aim. If you're someone that tends to stray, your straight ball hitter, you tend to stray a little bit with your alignment, set up a good routine down at the range that gives you an opportunity to practice aiming well. And at that point, when you go out on the golf course, when you're standing to the golf ball, you'll really get a good perception of where you need to be in space relative to the target. I hope that's been insightful and given you something to think about whether you're trying to fix your alignment or get your alignment to help you with your shape. Again, I really enjoy these sessions. I hope they're adding something to your golf game. I would love it if you could share it with your friends and potentially consider subscribing while you're here because I'd love to grow the, grow the channel uh, bigger. Thank you so much for your time. And I think you'll find that, my friends, is good coaching.